soundtrack. Hey, Misfits, and welcome back to another video where today we're doing another installment of Miss Foods. Very enthusiastic. Who's ready to begin? No? You. Soundstruck. Okay, great. <laughs> very empty. Don't worry about it. Um, you get one. Uh, you two. I'm honestly, one. I you like caramel one. apples. We get to share it. Yes, there's only two for some reason. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> we, honestly, I love caramel apples and I love oatmeal cream pies. Yeah, oatmeal but those cookies two are my favorite. Those two together, I don't know how well that turned out. Sounds dry. No, we're not <laughs> doing it. Don't look inside it. Why did you say it like that? It's like... I have a story. Ancient Romans were awed with the beauty of the humble apple. When a falling apple surprised Sir Isaac Newton, he developed the law of gravity. And the bright red fruit made a perfect archery target for William Tell. His son was never in peril, thanks to the apple. Today you can enjoy a Little Debbie caramel apple oatmeal cream pie, or a Little Debbie apple pie and savor the taste of this celebrated fruit. Stay so, final verdicts. Let's go with Perry first. Oh, yeah. Out of, um, ten. Out of 10. Out of 10? Yeah. yeah. Uh, okay. I'll put the rating and I'll tell you why. So, okay. Sounds Basically, good. I would give it a 4 mainly because I don't like that much sugar. I think this works really well with younger kids. if Because younger kids tend to like a lot more sugar. Sounds true. Um, She's health conscious. I am not health conscious, actually. <laughs> I eat as much as junk food as I possibly can. That's a mood. Isn't it? Yes. Um, anyways. <laughs> <laughs> but I just don't like that much sugar. Otherwise, it tastes really good. But yeah. So crunch. There's apples in it. Do you know those are fake apples? Um, Sounds dry. I'm gonna give this a 5 out of 10 because little Debbie is my home girl and you know I get a lot of fall vibes from this and Sounds fall is my favorite season so I know what there's there's fall okay no but there's not. leaves on there right <laughs> now it's fall. not fall I know but it gives me fall what vibes. are you talking about we're on YouTube it's always every season so we're giving it, it's giving me fall vibes and fall is my favorite I give it a 6 out of 10, despite everybody else, and I like food. Honestly, that's a pretty cool score, too. Yeah, I know, but it's not that great. It's, it's Sorry, Debbie. Great. Sorry, Debbie. Sorry, Debbie. Sorry, I mean, Debs. I'd eat it. Love you, Debs. But, like, I think I have a friend named Debs. Yeah, base. <laughs> We're gonna do uh, some beautiful cellos Turkish Delights. Wow. Cellos! Okay, who here is a cellist? Because I am. Because if any of you are, Please like call me because I need help playing the cello. Vocalist. The you don't matter. Vocalists don't matter. Hey, excuse you. I can make the, the sound of a bass. The subtle drag. Right, but you can't capture the true essence of a bass. Capture the true essence of my face going through your face. <gasps> your face going, going through, through her my face? face. I said fist. Oh. oh. That makes. Me <laughs> <laughs> we saw that. Time. Anyway, we got cellos, Turkish lights. Who wants the first one? I'll take it. We got. It says this has traditional <laughs> taste, and I, this actually kind of worries me. This is, doesn't have artificial colors in it. These are apparently all naturally colored, and they're all these random colors. See, you look on the package. That's what it looks like. There's like it's like nice jelly looking things. You look at that. That is covered in sugar. This looks like something from like. Okay, it doesn't smell like oh, gulab jam, like but it looks like gulab jam. If any of you Indians know who that, what that is. It's Turkish, apparently. You okay? She's literally gonna throw so, it. I can't buy it. It's really sticky. I'm perfectly okay. fine. I the think the first it's... bite was really bad, but why does the aftertaste? Oh, I like the aftertaste. Sounds dry. That's... 
It it's way like fruitier something. than I thought it'd be for mine. I think we have a different flavor. I have yellow, they have What orange. does it remind you guys of? This oh, reminds it reminds me of something. I forgot what it was called, Sounds though. Good. This one tastes like pineapples. Well, what's the flavor? Probably it pineapple. doesn't list flavors. Really? It has a bunch of warnings on here. Honestly, I can't keep eating this. It has <laughs> a bunch of warnings on here. Wait, warnings? <laughs> oh, no, wait. These are just... This, I love how this, this is, is... This is the ingredients. But then the, someone slapped the ingredients in English just on it with a sticker. But every other, like it's listed the ingredients. I in literally most love languages. how this is from TJ Maxx. <laughs> yeah. The well, place even more iconic is from, from Costco. Oh yeah, Costco. Yo. So oh, Furry, so since you loved good. these so much, what is your verdict? Oh, I'm giving the, okay. <laughs> she had to flip her hair. <laughs> so, she, this is gonna be good. Um, <laughs> that was so dramatic. She's gonna go off of you. You're like, no. Um, so, as Zero. You, <laughs> as you all know, I don't like a lot of sugar. And this was she covered in a lot of sugar. I think it was covered in sugar. I think that's just what it was. It's just it was just sugar. It's just battery sugar. And I don't exactly fruit. remember where I tasted this from, but it tastes exactly like something else and it doesn't taste really good. It doesn't. Uh, <laughs> She's like, her mouth <laughs> has just been infected by it. And it doesn't <laughs> Turkish delight changes your speech. Um, <laughs> um, I'm gonna give this a two out of ten. I'm sorry, but I'm just not a fan of this thing that may contain traces of peanuts and tree nuts. It doesn't even look. That's black carrot. Oh yeah, what and is black carrot? in case of like warning here, do anyone who has a nut allergy don't take this. Yeah, we're gonna give um, warnings for most of these foods. Also, don't eat some of these foods if we tell you not to. Please don't. I know someone's out there who's gonna take the challenge. What? No, Tur we're Turkish really not people. Famous. What are you guys eating? Like, stop. Girl, give your verdict. Um, I'm gonna give this a. I'm gonna give this a three out of ten, mainly just because it was so overly sugar on top, and it just wasn't appealing to look at or to taste or anything. So it's just yeah. If it was like that, maybe. If it looked like the packaging with perfect squares, I would like it more. Mine was a perfect. Square. But it looked like a squished bird. Mine was a perfect square. On the road, so. A bird? Yeah. Are you like, okay? When you see a bird on the road, like that sounds weird, but like it, it sounds like weird. a squished bird. I don't know why. It just was in a strange it sounds shape. Sounds or it looks like. What's your man? Oh, okay. Did you know, say it sounds like? You said it sounds I'm gonna like. give them props oh, though. It you, looks like. If you look at like the Ziploc pouch, it has a zipper. No. That looks, that's cool. I don't think they can see that, but it has a zipper. That's so, so cute. Mine was good once you got past the sugar. I don't know what happened to that sugar. Right. It uh, was tainted with some kind of poison, I'm sure. It was tainted. But I have to give it a four out of 10, simply because it had some good flavor once you actually got into it. Otherwise, it's it right. terrible. Now. She used to like get the taste out of her mouth currently. So I'd, I'd say that's an overall hated it. Don't. Sounds it, You can buy it if you want, but I don't recommend it. I don't think any of us do. Oh, don't worry though. It's suitable for vegetarians. It says on the packaging. And it's spelled suitable wrong. We're gonna go on to the cinnamon bun Oreos. Woo! Okay. I was very excited. These look really good, actually. Oh my god, one is dead. Already. One has been destroyed. Oh my goodness. Why did you pick the destroyed one? Because I love it. Okay. It's like me. Oh, that was dark. Okay. Wow. Oh, that's good. They smell really good. Like, they smell like um, Cinnamon did, Toast Crunch. Did you actually smell them? Did you actually smell like Cinnamon Rolls? They do smell like Cinnamon Rolls. Like, even cooked Cinnamon Rolls, which is kind of weird. I think this is gonna be one of the higher ones. I'm gonna give it a seven out of ten, just because the flavors were good. It tasted 
like a cinnamon bun. So I think that's why I'm gonna give it a seven out of 10. Um, I'm also gonna give this a high score. Sounds I'm gonna good. give it a six out of 10. To be honest, that's high in my opinion. I have a very hard scale. Um, especially since all of this is sugar, and I'm Sounds not dry. the biggest fan of sugar. Um, so just for hurriness, it's like an 8 out of 10. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For all you sugar lovers, it's like a 9 out of 10 Sounds or an 8 out of 10. Oh, that's it. But yeah, so, um, so I, it went, the flavors went really, really well together. Like, as Karan said, like, yeah. it tastes like a cinnamon bun, except Sounds with dry. extra sugar. And like it's also an Oreo, so who doesn't love Oreos? And it's just a good cookie. So I'm gonna give this a nine out of ten, partly because I had cinnamon roll like, clumps this morning from Cinnabon, and smelling this just brought back memories of childhood and eating it because I think cinnamon cookies and cinnamon buns were my childhood. Mm. This is like the colder version of a cinnamon bun. It smells exactly like, like it. The, it's really, it's like, kind of creepy. Like when it comes in the package, like frozen. Yeah, like yeah. if you warm this up, it will taste like a cinnamon bun. Sounds I don't think you have the ability to do that. But it's, it's a taste of like a cinnamon bun. It's not, yeah. not incredibly like it. Okay, let's move on. From Hammond's, it's pumpkin spice caramel right. marshmallows. Uh, you guys can't see it in the packaging, but this is what the packaging looks like. We'll sounds open right. it right now. Hold on. It costs be a $2.49. That is a nice package, actually. Wow. This is one marshmallow. I'm not eating a whole marshmallow. Just eat one bite of it. This is what it looks like. If you like. can even bite it. Oh, it's squishy. It That's is. why it didn't break, because it's squishy. Oh. You're sure? Yeah, I'm super sure. No, it's hard. Oh, okay. And she was super sure. Okay, if you have braces, you cannot eat this. It will it. break them. Ah. Oh, the... no. oh my god. I hate it. It ain't going in there. Uh-uh. I'm not I eating that. I can't drink my tea now. <laughs> I'm not eating that. It's like... <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it has been solidified too it's far. It's nothing. <laughs> Watch this. I'll get food poisoning. Oh! Well, you only ate a tiny bit, so that you get some mm, force right. All right, I didn't even eat. Don't worry about it. Okay, so verdicts on that. Let's start with curry. Okay. Um, honestly, I feel like if we warm... If, wow. Okay. Honestly, if we feel... I feel like if we warm this up a little bit, or like, if it was a little bit more like... It might have been in the packaging too long. Yeah, probably. Like, it was just too hard because you know like those cartoons when like those lines are like eating the steak and they're like gnawing on it okay it's kind of yeah, like that that's exactly and it's like it's so hard to eat that so like strong. it's just not fun to eat i mean honestly it looks good so like 10 out of 10 for like how it looks really but like we just left in this bag yeah. yeah, I think it I was think just, just our something. fault for like leaving in the- Cause this is like right. six months old. And- Why are you telling them that? <laughs> they don't don't do what we do. Yeah, honestly don't. Kids, kids don't eat expired. expired. I don't even know if it was expired. I don't think it does expire. It's not, it doesn't, things don't expire unless you open it. But like, but like, I think it just settled and got hard. Yeah. Um, so marshmallow. I'm gonna yeah. give this Honestly, it would have been good, but since we did not I have... We should probably give it, like, a score for if we had done that's, it at the yeah, right that's time. Yeah, I'm going to say... And a score for now. I'm going to give you a score, but, like, the score I'm going to give you now is the one that... Sounds good. If right now, at the moment, like, if... Our since we had... On. Yes, the, our six-month-old one. Um, I'm going to give it a, a three out of ten, honestly. Sounds I mean, good. I like the caramel. And I like the marshmallow part, so... That was good. It went well together. And then if it wasn't hard or solidified, I could give this a 6 out of 10. That's good in the furry world. Remember that. That's 8 or 9. I for think um, overall this was just horrible. And I didn't like it at all. I would have 
that or had anything else in the room. What about if it time? was good? Like if it hadn't been solidified. If it hadn't it solidified and tasted so bad, it sounds dry. My score would have been, you know, higher up, maybe a, a seven out of ten because I love marshmallow and caramel. Those are two sounds really good flavors. So yeah. But at the moment, tasting it while it's solidified and gross, I would probably give it a 2 out of 10. So yeah, this is definitely something that doesn't age well. Um, you can still taste the potential for something really good. Yeah. But since we left it for so long, I'm going to give it 1 out of 10 for its current state, which just tells you don't let it sit for so long. In its natural state, I feel like it would have been like an 8 or 9 out of 10. Like, you can even still taste some of its potential. It just not good with age. It's not a cheese, it's not a wine, it's a marshmallow. <laughs> Marshmallows don't age. Sounds don't eat expired good. food, kids. We're gonna go on to, I don't want to, be to Mike and Ike Sunday Sweets. Now I, that looks good. I have no clue if all the flavors are in here because people attacked it before Sounds I was able good. to get it to filming, but I know for a fact there are quite a few in here I managed to save underneath people's noses. These might not also be. These will also might be kind of bad. Sounds but they're Mike and Ike's and I've had really expired Mike and Ike's before. Are they good? Expired. They don't really change much since they're essentially just And they candy, yeah. Yeah, they don't change much. I love Mike and like marshmallows. <laughs> and Didn't Mike and Ike's break up for a little bit and then they got back together? What is wrong? Did you just ship them? No, like are you saying Mike aren't, and Ike's? Aren't they like they're like real people who own the company. No, oh, that's just the name of them. That's the name of the candy. Wait, Mike and I sure. is owned by a bigger company. They're just a brand of candy. They were never real. Can I just eat both of you? So let's at least look at each flavor that we Sounds end up true. getting here. So me and Pran well, both go uh, get... sherry on top, it says here. And I think so, I got banana split. I got banana split and cherry you, on top. You got you got crushed pineapple. Oh. So I got banana split and cherry on top. And Kron got crushed pineapple and cherry on top. I got caramel drizzle and vanilla ice cream. Oh. No one got chocolate good. fudge. We'll probably have to just try that. Chocolate fudge. I don't think there's a chocolate fudge in here. Yeah, there's no chocolate fudge. Darn it! Okay. So close. Mm -hmm. These are the best we can do with banana but split. They look good. It actually tastes like banana, that's terrifying. Sounds good. <laughs> that's really terrifying, just like a banana. Is it good? Yeah. I got I just, it. I thought I was eating candy. I got crushed Sounds pineapple good. and cherry on top. Are you gonna eat them both at the same time? Yeah. yeah. It actually tastes like crushed pineapple. I'm gonna cherry okay, on top. Okay, so as we've learned, I'm gonna eat this cherry. It tastes exactly like what they're supposed to taste like. Yeah. I chew them for false advertising, otherwise, that is a cherry. That is a very good cherry. Yeah. Okay. It kind of, okay. although, it kind of tastes like those cherry lollipops you get from like the doctor. Yeah. But that has its own nostalgia and like, lollipops always taste good. Sounds good. Yeah. It doesn't taste like caramel, but it's really good. I don't know what it is. Does it taste like vanilla? It's like a cardboard box. Oh god. What? I'm finding this. Okay, so we have two very different Let me try one. opinions. We're trying one with no one in it. I just lost all this flavor. Mm -hmm. I I can tell I had some. Wait, my friend. Because I remember. There was oh wait, one. there is one. Oh. There was oh, one unreleased Misfit people. Foods that I did where I got like these literal buckets of Mike and Ike's. I'm trying all four. They were red, oh, white, and blue seven. for 4th of July. And it was cherry pie, vanilla ice cream, and blueberry pie. Oh, that's and good. vanilla ice cream was delicious. Like I can kind of taste the after the little bit here. Somehow these have lost their flavor. Vanilla ice cream, Mike and I, as I can remember, everybody loved them. That was the only one that really went, actually. My rating for this, uh, 9 out of 10, just because a lot of these flavors are good, and vanilla ice cream, I think it's a fluke, because I've had it before, and it's delicious. So, I give it a 9 out of 10. I also give it a 9 out of 10, just because 
all the flavors taste like how they're supposed to. And I don't know. I just think it tastes good. Kind of rare to see that. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna give this a seven out of ten. Because I just don't want the fact that it sticks to your teeth, but otherwise it's actually really good. And even so, even if the caramel or the vanilla didn't taste exactly like it, mainly because of its overtime. But I think it's the overtime. I, I think no it's the overtime part, but like it tasted good. So you were seeing relics of videos that never went up, or just videos that never were filmed. This is like the misfits of the misfits. Sorry. <laughs> Butter rum lifesavers. Now we've already got into these, so we didn't. Someone we'll else did. Well, we didn't. But <laughs> siblings. Yeah, his siblings. <coughs> Can again attest to this just being old. Yeah, so it tastes like butter rum. Not that I've had butter rum, but I can tell this is. I've had butter, butter beer from like. Universal Studios. I would say it tastes different from Universal Studios butter beer, but. I also had that like three years ago, so I'm not the greatest judge. But I honestly Four. think it still tastes pretty good. It's not my favorite flavor, mainly just because it's like, I like you know, flavor. it's pretty bland. It's not like, again, really an old age thing for this one. These are all second strains again. What is the um, uh, Lord of the Rings strain called? The, the butter? Why is everything on butter in it? Lord of the this is a Julia Child thing. Rings. Everything's good with enough butter. I'm gonna give it a nine out of ten. Uh, that's it's kind of natural one. Right now it's a little bit aged, like everything. So I'm a, it's a seven out of ten right now still though. But I really like this. I really wish I didn't have to spit it out in a few minutes. I want to keep it. You can keep it. But we gotta eat food. I guess you could just like chew. Um, I would give it like a an eight out of ten. Mainly just because like I don't really like this flavor, but at the same time, if someone just wanted some candy and this is what someone had, I would I would still eat it. And so it's it, essential. Yeah. If nothing else is present, Crown will eat it. Exactly. Um. To be honest, at the beginning it tasted like grape medicine, which I, I, I hate. From. Okay. I have, no. I, have, I have weird tastes. Okay. Anyways. Weird taste buds. Right. Um, so at first I didn't like it, but you know, gradually it kind of tasted a little bit better. Um, I don't know if that's just me, but I like it. That's the thing with all our foods on this channel. Um, I don't know what that drink was called in New Zealand, uh, in the Lord of the Rings, but it tastes like that. Comment below if you know what it is, and I'll just, and she'll like remember it right before she reads the comment. I and know, if you're really dumb. I'm gonna feel so dumb at so this. It, it had, I think it was like butter beer. Even there was something there, and I don't it was know. It's probably butter something with the trying to go out here. Um, I'm gonna give this a six out of ten. Sounds That's pretty good for a pretty score. Yeah. Okay, so one of my favorite flavors is strawberry. So we're gonna have a strawberry milkshake pop tart today. So yeah. Right. Can we like split this? I don't have to eat the whole yeah, thing. Yeah, we'll split it. So that's why we should split it. Yeah. yeah why are you getting? It. Just get one package out. Oh, okay. There's two per package, and they're huge. They're pop tarts. This one. Funny enough, says, I don't um, eat these types of pop tarts. Freeze them and eat them. So I'm a, you know what? Right now I'm gonna put a package in there, and we'll eat some later. This one, it's any good. Ooh, this is good. Actually, surprisingly good. Here's if I had a lot of pop tarts on the show. Sounds good. We have like a bad history of pop tarts. The watermelon pop tarts, which you didn't eat, I'm with the worst for everyone else except me. I kind of want to list the jobs you guys have outside of being in this torture chamber called Miss with Foods. I really think okay. we should do one called Get to Know Us. Oh, yes, yes. it tastes like rainbows and happiness. The secret man. Yeah. yeah. But if you want us to do a video called Get to Know, we'll probably do it without your approval. But it's if you want us to. Comment below. Yeah. I want you to know every time you see one Mr. Food video go up, there's like three or four others Can that never went up. Can you answer the picture of Chris? 
Um, yeah, but there's like four Mr. Foods videos per one that goes up. Oh, I honestly think these are the best ones we've had today. Um, I'm gonna give this Yay! a 10 out of 10 just because, uh, I don't know, it might be biased because strawberry is one of my favorite flavors and it's my childhood because strawberry milk is all I used to drink. It's my favorite thing. Actually, yeah, I remember that. So, so yeah. That so, was, um, I asked him every day, why don't you just get normal? He's like, strawberry milk! Yeah. It's my life! Yeah, I love strawberry milk. Then you, like, fake slapped me once. My fake slapped you? Yeah, fake. Oh, yeah, I because said fake. You, kept, you kept on attacking me for wanting strawberry milk. And I was like, I love strawberry milk. Let me eat myself. Um, mom, it's okay. Just die. Please. <laughs> um. You're so tired. <laughs> strawberry milkshake. Yay. It was. Yay. It's not very enthusiastic it was, it was about it. So much rainbow and happiness and. You're too emo. I am not emo. Excuse you. No, there are people that there. don't understand how Honey, emo they are. Let me just say. <gasps> no, I don't want to cry. <laughs> I'm, then you're gonna I'm not cry. emo. I, okay, listen to comments if you think I'm emo. Anyways, that's not the point there. Um, yeah, this is a lot. Like, I'm I'm a happy person. I smile a lot. Yeah, she does. And um. Oh my god. <laughs> I just, this was a lot for me. It was just a lot. Right. We're cutting that out. But I'm going to give this, um... 13 out of 10. I'm going to give this a 5 out of 10. <gasps> At least she actually really? thought about that though. Yeah. Wow. Like, she thought hard about that. Yeah, that was that was a bit hard of a choice. I, I like this, it tasted good. It's just a lot of rainbows and colors. Like, it's just too happy. Like, even for me. Like, it's my thing, being happy. Yeah. It's like a 7 out of 10. There's nothing wrong with the packaging, or there's something wrong with the packaging. So I might have been biased with the flavor. No, I, I think the flavor's good. Yeah, the flavor the fl was good. The flavor is fantastic. And I'm, gonna, I'm actually going to try at the end of the video. The, they told me to freeze them. So one's freezing right now. So we're gonna try it at the end. Me and Karan are cur I curry think I have diabetes. Not. You don't have oh. diabetes. <laughs> don't talk, no. Final item, I need a drum roll. Hey, let's go Karan, give me a drum roll. The mystery Pop-Tarts. Why was my drum roll so strange? I don't know. <laughs> so, you know all these, uh, like, you know all the these uh, foods though. are old? This one's older than all of them. So old, its packaging has disappeared. I don't know where it is. Uh, I'm gonna Why are we one. ending with this? One? I don't know. It's mysterious. It doesn't say on this that Pop Tarts even expire because I think they're just mainly chemicals. Oh. So I don't know what's in this, and we're gonna find out, and I'm gonna have to try and identify it. We it love is a Halloween Pop Tarts. Tart. This is a Halloween Pop Tart. This is from Halloween. Why are you doing this to us? Is this kind of like poison? <gasps> oh, it's got okay. cartoons on them. Oh god, that does not look safe for anyone to eat. <laughs> it's so. It says, "Please don't eat me on it." Does that have mold on it? No. Where do you see mold? That's that's the icing. Front. When you impact the icing, it changes color. That's not stress was put on it. No, stress was put on it to dip it. It's not mold. Okay, whatever. Let's just eat it. Oh, no, no, no. I'm not having that whole thing. No, just, just a just, bite. Just a it's, bite. It says on this one, don't eat it. Okay. This well, cartoon says, okay. It's foreshadowing mm -hmm. one of our deaths. <laughs> I don't think the icing is still good. Mm mm. The not gross. The pop tart itself is good. The icing died long ago. Oh god. And we're not wasting it because that is it's not just fit for human not, consumption. Yeah. So only a few of these Please things in this don't episode. Tell me like it. It's kind of not bad. I mean, I agree with you. The actual pop tart wasn't bad. The icing. Why are your Taste buds so opposite of natural humans. Like, are you most of the things okay. in this episode were still kind of fit for human consumption? She didn't like them that much. This one is not. 
The last Pop-Tarts were so good. If you give this one a higher rating. I mean, the actual Pop-Tarts aren't that bad. The icing's gone pretty bad though. I think I just like chocolate more. Than strawberry? The yeah. chocolate, chocolate's pretty good. For most people. Yeah, the icing is the problem with society. Everything that's wrong with our lives is because of that you icing. You said you weren't gonna finish it, and now you're gonna finish it. Perfect. Okay. okay. I can't taste the icing. Let's start with your verdict. I do. Ugh. I give it like, I have to give it a six out of 10 just because the Pop-Tarts are actually really good. Still, okay. at this rate, it's like eight months old. Yeah. Or something, and it's still pretty good. Now, the actual icing brings down that's the score from the score from like nine to six though, because that icing is really bad. Sounds dry. Like I just don't think it survived. Yeah, I think this is one of the worst ones. I really think it would have been a lot better way back during. Halloween. I think I'm gonna say it's probably a two out of ten. Mainly just because it, I just couldn't eat it. Like I couldn't consume it. It just didn't taste good. Sounds Maybe it was just me, but yeah. You know, I actually remember this was gonna be. We filmed. Remember when we filmed all those uh, clips for Halloween Miss with Foods? Like we filmed an outside intro. We had all kinds of things lined up for it and all this stuff. And that food, I think, went missing. Actually. Yeah. I its don't know where it went. Yeah. Its packaging was like crushed on the floor somewhere. And I had to throw it away. And then I guess one just survived in the bucket of random misfit foods that had not been eaten yet. Well, probably because you forgot to get that one. I, don't know. I, I guess it's the only one that survived to be in a video. Yeah. If this video goes up. I'm going to give this a 5 out of 10. Um, mainly because, you know, triggering me. Obviously, I repeat this several times. Um, and if you constantly eat the Pop-Tart, you won't taste the bad stuff about it because the aftertaste <laughs> just, itself is like really bad. So if you constantly eat it, then yeah. the only the good parts will only taste good. And then like have some like really good refreshment after. That's it, not like water. And also don't eat what we do. Don't make it eight or six months old. Because most food doesn't taste black. good. There's Best Buy and Used Buy date. Best Buy is, I have a problem with that because that's when a company thinks their product tastes great. And it could be like a month or two until that's actually got bad in any way. And milk never goes bad, I figured out, or found out. It's already pasteurized. So technically it can never give, you can never get sick from eating old milk as long yeah. as you can stomach it. Yeah. It just tastes really bad. Yeah, but you, you won't get sick from it. Yeah. So technically, you don't need to buy new milk. Yeah. Just eat, just drink the cottage cheese. Oh, that's so gross. Please don't. That's disgusting. I mean, I can't harm you by doing that, but I don't think you'll enjoy it. Uh, these, these just did not taste good overall. Most Some of, of them, them tasted okay, but... Most of them, but they lost their good taste, I think. I think pretty much everything here was supposed to taste good, except for one or two things. It just, we left it for too long. I think I grew 10 years older. Oh. <laughs> Don't eat these foods when they're really old. Oh. They uh, induce aging rapidly. <laughs> and speech slurring. Yes, as we've seen many times throughout this video. Yep. Kron, did you just go country? That was like a country accent. Did I go yep. country? Yep. There is very detrimental side effects to eating food this old, is what we're trying to say. But if you did enjoy seeing us almost die from eating many expired foods, then why don't you hit that subscribe button and hit that bell icon while you're at it to see us do it again eventually, because I'm sure they'll enjoy it. Yeah. She's leaving, I think. Why not? Oh, what are you pulling up? Don't do it. No. Oh, God. No, what are you doing? What? Oh, my God. Anyway, I'll try and drown out the music. Make sure to like, leave a comment on what we should do next, and see you next time, Misfits. I hate my life.